Hey guys, it's Kim from Jolie Noir, and today I'm doing a video testing out my new Morphe palette. It is the Morphe 3502. It has pretty reds in it, oranges, browns. I saw the Glam Twins using it and I had to have it because I was like, that is the palette that I've been looking for to get started in the new year with my eyeshadows. What I'm wearing for my lipstick, it is called the Le Matier de Boot. If you want to see how I did this brown girl friendly, natural, but colorful eye look, keep watching. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so that you can see all of our videos as they get uploaded. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned. Today I'm starting with my foundation and my eyebrows already done just for time's sake. What I'm going to be doing as I stated before is just doing a look with my new Morphe palette. The one that I did not get to show you guys because it was still in the mailbox at the time. So yes, I'm going to just do the rest of my face and then I will um, do some of the eyeshadows. I primed with my Maybelline primer. I pr um, did the L'Oreal. Um, Valuable um, foundation, and then I used the NYX pencil um, for my eyebrows. So I'm going to start by doing the LA Girl Faux Concealer. This is the concealer that I used in my affordable drugstore routine, and this is the one that I use, period, because it works. I like it. It just gives me the highlight that I need, and I don't use much, as you guys saw on that video. take my beauty blender it is damp and I'm just gonna blend that out and then so what I'm gonna use is the Benai luxury powder um, I believe I use this in another one of my videos this is the powder that I use to set under my eyes and around my high on my highlight and I like this color because it's a little bit richer in color than the Benai, uh, banana powder. I do um, have the banana powder and um, I haven't been using it because I like the Topaz powder a lot better. But I'll be using this to set my um, eye primer. So I just take a little bit on my kind of damp beauty blender and I press in. And I press in because I don't bake. So. I just wanted to kind of set that under eye so that it won't be oily and creasy. I'm gonna go on and sweep away the powder and then just like kind of, I'm not gonna set the rest of my face, but I'm just gonna sweep it away. And I'm using my IT Cosmetics brush for Ulta. It's the Live Beauty Fully. It's the Live Beautifully brush. Yeah. The look that I'm going for is something I've been playing around. I have used this palette since I've gotten it. I got it about maybe two weeks ago and so I've been really enjoying using some of the reds in there and the browns because it is a really brown girl friendly palette and uh, the way that I even found out about the palette is that I was watching the Glam Twins' um, video and they you know mentioned the palette and I knew that Morphe was already an affordable brand so I wanted to you know try it. I am gonna still do a pretty simple look and I'm using the NYX professional makeup eye primer to prime my eyelids it's supposed to help the eyeshadows to pop more especially against my darker brown skin it helps it to pop a little bit more and to stay in place take this old Sony Kashuk brush that I bought from Target a long time ago and I'm just going to kind of blend that out just to make sure that I have it, it all evenly distributed 
Like I said, I am gonna set with the Benai powder on my eyelid. So now I'm just gonna take this kind of fluffy brush by Morphe. It's the MB23 brush. So I'm just gonna wipe that away or kind of dust it away. So the first shadow that I'm going to take is Orb. And I dip my brush in there. Get a generous amount, but then just blend around. And it really does seem to, that um, setting my eye primer does seem to make the brush go on smoother. And I'm just gonna go in circular motion. my Sonia Kashuk blend blending crease brush and I'm going to apply a blaze and from the same palette to my crease. And I'm still going in circular motions. If you go in the circular motions it helps to kind of get the product to blend better. If you go in windshield wiping motions it concentrates the product. I'm going to go back into Orb and then I'm going to go back over that just to kind of blend that out a little bit more. This the blaze is a really pretty pumpkin-y orange color. It's really good for the winter season because it is something that's a lot warmer and you want warm hot chocolate, you know, things like that. Not really pumpkin for me. More like sweet potato for me. For a little bit of shimmer, I'm gonna take the color Sizzle on this brush that I got from Sephora years ago. And I'm gonna take this brush, the blending brush, the blending crease brush by Sonia Kashuk. I'm not gonna put any more products on it, but I am gonna blend. And for a little bit more depth and color, I'm gonna take the color Heat so that it can just bring just a little bit of depth to the look. And the way that for me that this all works the best so that I can know what colors that I'll like together. I actually look at it as an outfit. When I put an outfit together and I do kind of, I look at it as kind of color blocking a little bit. When I put an outfit together and I do color blocking, then I look at things that would work together, comp colors that are complementary to each other or colors that are in the same color family. So all of these colors, they're neutral, but, or like if it's orange, it works well with a neutral. Like it's a warm orange and something, cause this is like a warmer palette. And so all of these colors, most of these colors could work really well together. And then, so I'm just continuing to blend that out and go in windshield wiper motions. So what I'm doing is going in circular motions and then windshield wiper motions. 